Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to part 22 of my City Living LP here on The Sims 4. So, as you can see, Vincent here looks very happy. You know, things have been not going very well for him recently, but um, he managed to get himself a big sum of money here, as you can see, from all of those people that he's killed. And he took back to Lock Gang and he got his um, money that he was promised. So now he's back here um, and, you know, he's still in this really bad apartment, but he doesn't really know what to do. He could invest his money into, you know, renovating this place and, well, definitely fixing this room because we can't have this here any longer and or he could maybe move into a nicer apartment but remember this money he has here isn't going to be here forever so he's got to make a really uh, careful decision but um if you didn't see the last episode actually as well um, him and Penny, you know, worked out their differences and he took her to a bar because he was feeling very confident about, you know, having all of this uh, money now and he just wanted to make things up with her and I think that he... He's, he was thinking for a little while that maybe she wants to be back with him because now he has more money than her. And remember, at one point, um, she was living in that trailer. Well, actually, she still lives in that trailer. But, you know, she is getting her life back on track as well. But remember, at one point, he was at a worse point. Uh, is that even the right? No, that isn't even a word. <laughs> a, a worse point than uh, Penny is. But, you know, they, they actually uh, have progressed the relationship very well since last episode. And things seem to be going very well for them. So, the flea market is in town. I'm going to see um, if there's... Like, I'm going to get him to go down here. He's actually finished his work pretty much for the day. He's got to be funny with five sims, I think it said. Um, and that's him done for the rest of the day. Um, oh, my God. My camera. Sorry about this. Um, so, I'm going to get him to come down here. And I'm going to see if there's anything that he might take his fancy. I don't really want anything that's going to stand out too much. I just wanted to, you know, fit in. I'm thinking maybe this lamp here if i can get that um let's see that's only 90 simoleons then over here i've got a couple of different things these are just like random collectibles and stuff which i'm i'm not really interested in um sorry my speaker's a little bit loud um so, okay so there's some stuff over here as well we don't really need any more of that either to be honest um so i suppose we could maybe just go and get some food instead then i'm sorry i've got my sims 3 camera on and it's starting to re-irritate me okay so let's uh which stand should we go to i'm thinking maybe this one the one annoying thing i have about like markets and stuff like this is that these people in the carts all they do is scream and scream and scream for people to come to their carts and it's just the most annoying thing that like, you can't even hear yourself think so i'm gonna get him to come and get a pork a double, I don't, I don't know, something. Um, is he going to go okay? I think it might be. Let's check. Yeah, it is okay, but I suppose he needs to eat something. Oh my god, this person looks exactly like Vincent. Oh my god, it's kind of scary. He looks kind of very similar. <laughs> anyway, um, so we've got to be funny with five different Sims. I think it said. Uh, with, oh, sorry, I like pause for a second. <laughs> Two more people we've got to be funny with, and then we're done that for the day. So let's go and be funny with this person. Uh, funny introduction, I guess that counts. And then, oh my God, Lock Ang's here. Oh my God, we're going to have to try and avoid him. Um, so let's go and say hello to Jeffrey over here. Uh, this is Jeffrey, isn't it? Yes. So let's go and say hello to him as well. And that should be that done. Let's see if this works. Uh, three out of five. Is this going to work? I mean, I'm not too bothered, but I mean, he has to get some promotion sometime. Uh, so that's four out of five. One more person. Maybe with this person. If that. Oh yeah. Okay. Good. So that's that done. Um, wow, it's very loud down here, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm actually going to get him to maybe come back up to the apartment. And, uh, or actually, you know, just travel straight away. I want him to go out with Penny and do something together for the day. <clears throat> so, I don't know what we could do. Maybe go back to a bar or something and just talk for a bit. I think, um, Vincent wants to give her an apartment key again because, you know, they fell out a while ago. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. Um, they, <laughs> they fell out a while ago and, you know, they're starting to get back on track a little bit now. So, I think it might be a good idea to do that. Where should we go? I'm thinking maybe somewhere in Oasis Springs, so you know Penny doesn't have far to travel. We could even go over to her uh, house, but I think that might bring some bad memories back for Vincent because that was the place where he killed Penny's husband, so I don't think that's a good idea. Let's just go to the Battle Snake Juice. I suppose this is an okay place. Hopefully there's no other people there who have had previous romantic relationships with. So I'm going to uh, meet you there once the loan screen's finished. Okay, so we're here now. I forgot to invite Penny over, but I've just done that now. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> people are here from the prison. Oh no. Remember that when he went to prison for a while? When the people in that household, well, they're actually out now. Okay. I might have just forgotten to change that outfit or something. <laughs> so, Penny is here. I'm going to get him to come over here and order some drinks for them both. Um, What should we get? Something maybe a little bit expensive because, you know, he has the money now to, you know, spend uh, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't make sense. Let's just get to see if I had the most expensive thing on the drinks menu. And just talk to her a little bit, catch up, see what she's been doing, how's work and stuff. Because I 
they're all in the do they work for the same company i don't know i think she works for sim.tv and he works for sim simstagram <laughs> so let's go and do that now um are they going to sit over a separate table or something yeah wait what 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 just happened there Hmm, it looks like he was, like, pushing her away or something. I don't even know. So, let's get them to order the drinks. I think he's already done that. We've just got to wait for them to be made now. And just catch up with them. Um, Penny, see how she's getting on. Let's just do a knock-knock joke. And gossip a little bit. And just talk about random stuff. <laughs> let's do a deep conversation. That always seems to be a good one to do. Um, where can I, I can't find it now. Where's it gone? I can't find it. Oh, well, get to know. That's another good one, I suppose. Compliment outfit. And that's going to be good for that. So... Now what he wants to do is actually um, give her an apartment key because that's something he's wanted to do in the game. So I'm going to get him to do that and then, um, well, you know what, he's feeling a little bit unsure about that because you remember what happened last time and then everything, you know, went to pot after he gave her the apartment key. Did he even give her an apartment I can't even remember, but you give Betty one anyway, but that went to pot as well. <laughs> so um, maybe this is not a, a, a good idea, but it is something that he really wants to do. So let's get him to uh, go ahead and do that. I'm just going to get a screenshot or two for the thumbnail. I'll probably... No, might have the thumbnail, but oh well. Um, actually, well, there is something I have in mind for the thumbnail, and you might, you know, be surprised by what just happened there. Um, but they actually had the first kiss before I started the um episode, which was great because they were, you know, progressing nicely, and I'm glad that's happened. So, now they have their apartment key, which is great, so Penny can come over when she wants, which may not be a good idea, because, you know, um, Vincent might not be finished with Dylan. I keep saying Dylan. I mean, he has, like, three first names, um, but, you know, he might not be finished with him. Like, we never know what Dylan's next move is going to be. He could, I did, well, I, I think we've seen the last of him, but, you know, we're just unsure about that. But um, I think Penny's actually gone home, but which is okay. I suppose we should be heading back. Um, I'm thinking what we might actually do is maybe cook dinner and invite Penny over as well. I think that might be a nice idea. Um, and we'll see how that goes as well. So, let's head back to the house and uh, we'll see what we could cook for dinner. Okay, so we're back at the... Uh, wait. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> oh my god, they did it all in like all synchronized i don't even know what happened there i don't even know who that person was anyway we're back at the apartment now and um they're just doing their thing in the lobby okay um so let's get him to cook some dinner now the house is an absolute mess but i think penny's going to be okay with it this time remember the first time that penny came to the apartment and you know she judged him a little bit for the the state of his apartment but you know i feel like now that the relationship is in this position it, that's not going to be a problem anymore so let's do um, tofu tacos, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know what else to do. Uh, so let's get him to do that. Um, and hopefully it's going to turn out okay this time. Because, I mean, it has been pretty bad in terms of, you know, that his, um, uh, quality of the meals he's been making isn't too good. But, I mean, he's really going to try hard this time. See if she can, um, if he can impress him. Her, I mean. <laughs> um, we better lock this door if it's not locked already. Good, it is. Because we don't want Penny going in there because, um... That might bring back some memories, because, uh, you know, Penny's kind of looking at this wall where all these secrets, you know, lay behind. Uh, but, you know, luckily she can't see in, but, I mean, I don't know, she's still feeling a little bit suspicious about what could be behind this door. But luckily, we know it's nothing, um, and hopefully it's not going to be nothing again. So he's made the meal, please don't say it's poor quality, and it's, well, it's normal quality, so I suppose that's okay. So let's get him to call everyone to a meal, well, everyone I mean by two, and I'll get him to do that. Um, and let's see what she thinks of this meal. Oh my god, Petty's- <gasps> No! Oh my god, Pet. Oh no. Betty came to the door. Oh, declined to feed. Um, well, we're just not going to answer that. Pretend we didn't hear the door. Because luckily Penny didn't because she's watching TV. Because, I mean, we don't want, um... Oh my god, but Vincent still kind of feels for Betty a little bit. And, you know, he kind of feels like that was all one big mistake and it happened so quickly and... It was kind of Donovan who pushed the, her into that relationship, so... With with Donovan, Petty and Donovan. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. Maybe one day we'll get back with, with Penny. I mean, Betty. <laughs> uh, but we're going to have to see how it works out with Penny first. So, uh, he's doing poses for some reason, but she's going to have a dinner. He's already had uh, his. I mean, no. Does that make sense? I don't know. Oh, my God. I'm in total mess today, like normal. Um, so, I guess you don't want to be No, we don't. Bye. Oh, my God. Look at the sunset. Oh, my God. That's so nice, isn't it? Oh my god, I want to cry. <laughs> oh my god, that's... Oh, wow. Okay, I can't... I don't know what else to say. Oh, wow, that's really, very nice, isn't it? So let's take a couple more screenshots here. Sometimes I use, like, screenshots of the landscape area as backgrounds for thumbnails sometimes. Anyway, so, 
Let's see how um, this is getting on. He's still doing poses. Oh my god. Stop it. Okay, good. So they seem to be okay with their meal, which is great. I'm going to see how long we we'll have left on this episode. About two minutes. Uh, oh, <laughs> did you hear my voice there? Um, and you know what? I think Vincent's feeling really, really happy with Penny at the minute that, you know, they just want to move in. I, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Oh god, I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh no. No, I'm not, <laughs> not going to do it in today's episode. I think we might be rushing things and well, Vincent's done things like that where he's rushed in the past and it's always turned out bad. So I think I'm going to leave it a little bit there. Um, but I'm actually going to get Penny to go home because he has work in the morning and he doesn't want to keep her too long here because he has to get on with his own stuff. So I'm going to actually ask her to leave just in a nice way um, and we'll maybe see her tomorrow or something. Um, and Penny's been looking a little bit suspicious tonight, like as if, I don't know, just a little bit lost um i don't know how to explain it really like i don't know just a bit far i don't know if that's even a word or well it is a word i mean it just doesn't make sense in that context i guess so i'm gonna ask her to leave and what i'm gonna do is switch over to uh, control penny and see what uh, you know life is like for her at home Okay, so we're back here at Penny's trailer, and as you can see, she looks a bit sad, and that's because she is. Now, a lot's been happening, and she's just been managing to keep it to herself and not really show her emotions, which, I mean, could be a bad thing. Um, but she's come home now, and she's just broken down again, because, you know, there's just so many memories of this place, and how she got here, and, you know, all the bad things that led to that, and what's even happened here, like her husband dying just after they got married and proposed. Um, and, I mean, I'm glad that Vincent's there, because, you know, he seems to be making her feel better, which is great. But but she's actually on the phone here as well to her work and her boss is calling and you know he's just saying that your job is on the line you've been performance has been terrible recently and you know he's just giving her a wake-up call and just reminding her that you know you have a big responsibility in your job and you've got to make sure that you're living up to that uh which penny hasn't really because of all the things she's going on and you know she just really hasn't told anyone about it so that's why the boss doesn't really understand but i'm hoping that her job won't be lost or anything like that because she definitely needs it to get out of this place unless vincent kind of like rescues her anyway so that is it for this video hope you enjoyed if you did please make sure you leave a like comment share and subscribe if you haven't make sure you leave some suggestions down below for for the future of this LP and videos on my channel. Also didn't mention I'm actually recording this on the 26th of December 2016. You've probably seen this into January 2017. I'm not too sure when this is going up so I should have mentioned that at the start but oh well. So hope you enjoy like I said and I'll see you all next time. Bye!